hi everyone my name is Sakila welcome to my channel if you want to subscribe hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified of the videos that I post as I post on a daily basis hit the notification button do not forget to like to share and comment on my videos welcome as I usher you to God's greatness and to God's goodness thank you so much for the love and support that you keep on showing me on this channel may God bless you hallelujah today the Lord is saying there is someone that will teach you love languages hallelujah there will be someone coming into your life and she's going to cha to change your thought about your about love he's going to change your thinking about love and she's going to help you speak the love language hallelujah in the book of of first peter chapter 4 verse 8 it says above all love deeply because love covers multitude of sins hallelujah proverbs says hatred stir up conflict but love covers all wrongs let us look at the book of ruth chapter 1 verse number 16 and 17 verse 16 says but ruth replied don't ask me to leave don't ask me to leave you and turn back. Wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you live, I will live. Your people will be my people and your God will be your God. Let us look at, at verse 17. It says, wherever you die, I will die and there I will be buried. May the Lord punish me severely if I allow anything but that to separate us. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Mighty God, we thank you for your word. Continue, Lord, to reveal greater things with this word. Continue, Lord, to provide greater wisdom. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we give you glory. We give you honor as you deserve all the best. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, amen. So if we look at verse number 16 and, seven, and 17, this was the time when Ruth's husband died and then Naomi is saying to Ruth, it is time that you go back home as you have seen the other, the other sister-in-law has gone home. Now you also have to go home because of love, hallelujah, because Ruth had love. He's saying, I am not going anywhere. Ruth had vowed to die where Naomi was because that where his husband was. Ruth to vowed to stay with her husband with his husband and Naomi, hallelujah. So during the event of dead, then now Naomi is instructing Ruth to live. But this is what Ruth is saying. Ruth is saying, I am not returning back. I am going wherever you're going to live. And I am going to do whatever you do. Your God will remain my God, hallelujah. We see Ruth showing much love. We see Ruth teaching Naomi the, the, the language of love. We see root showing love when we look at peter it says love covers multitude of sin this time ruth is showing love not only to his to to the husband but also is showing to the mother-in-law hallelujah if we look at verse 16 it's saying it will only be dead which separate us. Today people have vowed vows, but they are not living up to those vows. The Lord is saying today there will be someone who will live up to those vows in your life. There will be someone who will live love, who will show love, who will speak love. Hallelujah. There is someone who is going to make sure that love is living in your relationship. Even if you struggle yourself to show love but he will excel to show love in your life so that you can master it so that you can be able to understand love so that whenever he or she doesn't exist you are able to live love again hallelujah today the lord is saying respect your vows what you said what promises you made respect your vows stay in stay in your vows and seek god's wisdom in every struggle that you come across in your marriage respect your vows whatever you say when you say until death do us apart respect the words that you have said in your vows in the mighty name of jesus the bible says when you show much love you are covering Conf conflict you are preventing conflict hallelujah because love 
covers all multitude of sins. Love covers fights. Love covers a lot of things. Hallelujah. So today, remain in love. Stay in love and be ready to use love language and be ready to speak love to your kids, to your family, even to your partner. Be ready to, to increase, to raise up the spark using love language in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen.